closer to Turkey, tensions are growing between Iran and the Taliban. They are trading gunfire. Over the weekend, lethal clashes broke out at the border. <laughs> at least three people have died. Two Iranian border guards and one Taliban fighter. Threats are being issued by both sides. The situation is being described as dangerous by some observers. But what triggered the tensions in the first place? Well, this dispute is about water, specifically the Helmand River. It is the longest river of Afghanistan, stretching more than 2,000 miles. Both Iran and Afghanistan depend on the Helmand. It originates in the high mountains of the Hindu Kush and feeds into the wetlands of Iran. In recent weeks, the river has sparked tensions. Iran says it is not getting access to Helmand's waters. It accuses the Taliban of throttling the river's flow. The Taliban denies the charge, but over the weekend, the dispute took an ugly turn. There was shooting at Nimroz at a border checkpoint. Nimroz is a border province of Afghanistan. We don't know exactly what happened. Both sides accuse the other of opening fire. After the clashes, Iran is said to have closed an important border crossing the Milak Zaranj post. This is a commercial crossing. It is away from the area where the clashes happened. It is believed Iran closed this post in response to the firing. So it is clear, all is not well between Iran and Afghanistan. This is not the first time this has happened. The dispute is over Helmand's waters. This is an old one. Its origins can be traced back to the 1940s and 50s. During those years, Afghanistan built two major dams along the Helmand. This had alarmed the Iranians because the country had experienced intense droughts. In 1973, a water-sharing treaty was signed, but the dispute was never resolved. Iran says the treaty is not being honoured. In recent weeks, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi has issued repeated warnings. I have the statements with me. Listen to this. This is Raisi talking about the water dispute with the Taliban, and I quote, We will not allow the rights of our people to be violated. I warn the rulers of Afghanistan to immediately give the people their water rights. Take my words seriously now or don't complain later. I warn the rulers of Afghanistan to immediately give the people of Sistan, Baluchistan their water rights. The Afghan side should allow our experts to go for evaluation straight away. If our experts confirm the lack of water, we have nothing else to say. Otherwise, we will not allow the rights of our people to be violated. So what was the Taliban's response? Well, Kabul hasn't taken the criticism kindly. They have issued their own threats. Again, I have some statements. This is from the Taliban's defense ministry. Making excuses for war and negative actions is not in the interest of any of the parties. Kabul rejects the charge that it hasn't honored the treaty. So neither side is mincing their words. And this dispute could worsen bilateral ties. In recent months, both sides have made progress. In February, Iran took a major decision. It handed over the Afghan embassy in Tehran to the Taliban. Iran also accepted Taliban-appointed diplomats. It wasn't a formal recognition of the Taliban regime. But the move brought the two sides closer. The water wars could reverse this progress. Reports say both sides have held talks. Attempts are being made to diffuse tensions. Remains to be seen if diplomacy can solve this. New Delhi will be watching very closely. India depends on Iran for its engagements with Afghanistan. This year, India shipped humanitarian assistance to Afghans. Wheat consignments were delivered via the Chabahar port. Last year, India had sent a technical team to Kabul to coordinate the delivery of humanitarian assistance. So India will be monitoring the situation at the borders. This is a developing story and we'll keep a track of the latest developments.